Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we have a lot to talk about. <laughs> Today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide if I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything is a total washout. I have like the worst timing in the world apparently because like right after I posted my last Be Wow, like a couple hours later, Becca announced that they were closing and the entire makeup community just poofed, exploded. <laughs> <laughs> so I know last time I talked about a Becca palette that I it was like a face palette that I kind of wanted uh, but I looked around I could not find that palette so I actually don't know if that palette is coming out um, but what I did do is pick up a couple of other products so before we get into uh, all the new releases and my thoughts on them I have a little mini cumulative makeup haul there's a couple of products that I've picked up here and there over the last couple of weeks I'll put a timestamp and I'll have timestamps so you can skip this part of it if you want but I just like to show you like my little updates that I do before each Be Wow, just new products that I've picked up. Uh, so outside of this, I did a huge Shop Miss A haul. I actually just finished filming that. It's going to be coming out in the next week or so. It's actually going to be long. <laughs> I think I have like an hour of footage, so I'm going to cut all that down. So I'm not going to show any of the Shop Miss A products here because it's going to be like a half an hour long video coming out soon. So make sure you're subscribed, hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever that video does come out. All right, first things first. So speaking of Becca, I... <laughs> I might have a problem with this certain highlighter. So I've already panned the full size of this highlighter. This is the highlighter that I have right now that I've been using. Yeah, it's the one I bought as a backup on QVC a while ago. And then the news of Becca closing happened and I was like, oh, not my favorite highlighter. So I kind of bought two more off of Mercari. This is the only product where I've gone like this far to get backups of it. <laughs> but this one came like literally brand new with the box. And then this one was just slightly used. Um, yeah, so now now I've got three of these highlighters. But that's the one thing like when I heard Becca was closing down, I saw some videos, people talking about it and talking about how you shouldn't go out and buy backups. But this is literally my favorite highlighter of all time. So that this is the only thing where I was like, I need backups of that and um, I looked it up it, there was one website that had it on sale but it was like $40 and I'm like mm, I'm not gonna do that so I got both of these off of Mercari I think Mercari had better options than Poshmark um, and so one of these was $8 the other one was $10 so that's a steal so I've got my backups and you know to be quite honest even if I worked hard to pan these that would last over like a year year and a half because it took me forever to pan that first one so I think I'm good for the rest of my life with that royal glow highlighter or at least I should be okay next while I was at a CVS the other day I found the new wet and wild color icon palette so now as far as I'm aware these are now going to be replacing their previous color icon palettes for example, like these older ones in this packaging, the 10 pan palettes, I believe this is the newer version because there is one that had the same name as an older palette. So Nude Awakening, that, that was the same name of a palette in this packaging. I don't think I have it. So unfortunately, I won't be able to compare them. But I was just really curious about the new packaging. I'm wondering if they changed the formula. I cannot wait to go in and test this out. So I got the Nude Awakening palette and I haven't even like opened it up. It's still sealed. Um, and then I picked up this is Lights Off and it's like a smoky kind of palette. So let me know if you guys want to see. I might do a spotlight on Petite palettes with both of these. All right, next I picked up two CC cream slash tinted uh, moisturizers. The first one is from e.l.f. I finally got my hands on the Camo CC cream. I did get the wrong shade though. So I have shade 140W. I went to, I believe it was a CVS or a Walgreens. This was the lightest shade they had. There is a shade, I believe it's 120 is the lightest shade and I need 120 because I'm pale. Um, so, I mean, this one has good undertones, but it's just too dark for me. That being said, I've used it and I was so surprised. It's like medium to full coverage. It's comfortable. It looks good. I'm shocked. So this, I definitely want to try out more and I want to see if I can get my hands on that 120 shade. Next, I finally picked this one up. I actually almost forgot about it, but then I saw it in uh, Target when I went yesterday and I was so excited about it again. So this is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. So this is the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. So this is their version of like a BB or a CC cream. And I got, this, again, the lightest shade that I could find in the store. This is shade Porcelain. So I cannot wait to try this out. And I really love the trend now of like affordable brands getting into CC creams, BB creams. I love it. I'm all over it. 
All right, and last but not least, I splurged and got myself some higher end loose powders because that's one of the things that you don't need to pay higher end money for because honestly, the Cody Airspun powder is really all you need. It's affordable, it's a giant package. But sometimes I like to treat myself. So Laura Mercier, I have not bought a Laura Mercier powder in well over a year, but I love the loose powder. It's really good. It's just, it gets pricey if you're using it every day and you have to repurchase it as often as you would repurchase a loose powder. But I really do like it and I'm, you know, it's, it's a, uh, it's like a fast food. You know, you don't eat it all the time, but when you do, it's a nice little treat. <laughs> They're just called Laura Mercier powder fast food, I guess. And this is a brand new product. I literally got this the day it came out on the Sephora website. This is the Tatcha Silk Powder. So they came out with a silk powder. And the packaging's adorable, like the rest of their stuff. Um, and I haven't used it. I just opened this. And I cannot wait to try this out. So let me know if you guys... I think I'm going to be doing soon a review roundup where I review a bunch of new products kind of quickly. Um, but let me know if you guys want to see a review roundup for these because it's going to be at least a few weeks or if you want to see specific videos like on the Wet n Wild palettes or the Tatcha powder. Okay, so let's switch gears and actually talk about products. I got tagged in quite a few products over the last week, so thank you guys for tagging me on Instagram. Don't forget, this is my Instagram. I've been posting daily. I post makeup of the day looks. I post actually mini hauls, so the things that I did just show you, I hauled them as I got them on my Instagram stories. And I also do um, up-to-date Pan That Palette updates. So if you want to see Pan That Palette updates in real time, as opposed to waiting for the monthly update, follow me there. It'll most likely be in my Instagram stories, and I'll have those stories pinned to my profile. So the number one thing that I was tagged in and mentioned was the Becca closing, of course, which is very, very surprising. I really don't know the details, of course. I don't think really that many people do behind like their businesses. I was really interested. I kind of want to see like a PL from them, which, which we're not going to see, obviously. But part of me thinks this is probably more of a personal decision because this company is backed by uh, it's a big umbrella company that owns them. So... I'm trying to think either they were doing really bad and the company was like okay you know what you know it's it's too much so either we have to sell them off or you're closing and so they decided to close or like the owner i don't know if the owner still had majority stakes or not could could decide to close um the company but that is a huge decision and it is kind of shocking like i know that's the first thing everyone was saying was like wow this is big it's basically the first big makeup casualty of covid it's it's it was pretty surprising but also not surprising because like the only product that i live and die for from becca is that royal glow highlighter i've heard people talk about their face palettes and i think specifically like their under eye corrector and their powder is pretty like well known but not that many you know holy grail products it's not really talked about as much anymore right so personally, I'm kind of sad to see them go, but then again, like I really didn't use a whole lot of their products. It's just that Royal Glow Highlighter. <laughs> and that's it. So yeah, sad to see a company closing, but really I am just curious to see how other brands respond. And speaking of other brands, I was also tagged in the new KVD rebranding. So KVD, the formerly known as Kat Von D Beauty, totally scrubbed their social media and rebranded. So now it's KVD Beauty. It stands for Cara Veritas Decora Value, Truth, and Beauty, which still, so now, now they're going as KVD Tattoo Inspired Vegan Beauty, which it's still a mouthful, you know? I still don't know why they didn't just go with Kendo Vegan Beauty. Why, why does it need to be so long? I think it's just because they want to keep the packaging, but you could just do Kendo Vegan Beauty. Like, you could, I mean, it's not that difficult to turn the D into a B, right? And also, I saw the article where KV, Kat Von D, like, said herself, like, I would wish they would stop using my, you know, initials. And a lot of people kind of agreed. Um, personally, I like what they're trying to go for. Like, their brand logo, like, blown up, looks kind of like... 20s Gatsby like edgy Gatsby is kind of what I'm getting out of this which could be cool but I don't know I don't know so um I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say okay so it's definitely better than it was it's better it's better than kindness vegan beauty with vegan beauty with kindness and also we do good things it's better than that right <laughs> and I, I still want to try some products out from them so I'm not going to knock them too hard I know a lot of people were still making fun of it but I feel like they're tr trying to do something right 
Uh, so I do want to try some products out. I know specifically I want to pick up some of the liquid lipsticks. Um, I don't know about like the foundation. Oh, I already have the foundation. Or about powders. I've tried one of their brow pomades, but I used it more as a liner. I'm gonna try I think they have a black brow pomade, but that's expensive. You know, I don't want to spend that much on a brow pomade. Anyway, I think they're going in the right direction, but it's still kind of it's still silly. <laughs> okay, I was also tagged in this coach and Sephora collection. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is, I don't know. Mm. It's too kiddish, you know? Like, I I, I kind of, I want to like the eyeshadow palettes, you know? Because it's kind of cute, but like, I'm just getting, like, you're trying too hard to be cutesy out of this, right? Like, it's too kitty. Yeah, I don't know. And I would never buy Coach makeup. I don't think I've ever bought Coach makeup, and I probably wouldn't. And that brush stand just looks cringy as hell. Yeah, this, I mean, this whole collection looks like something I would buy at Claire's, you know? I was also tagged in this collection, though unfortunately I believe it is only going to be released in Asia. This is the uh, Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon and Maybelline collab, which right off the bat, I love me another good affordable Sailor Moon collab. The one from ColourPop was just meh. All I have are the blushes and the eyeshadow palette, but to be quite honest, I'm not a huge fan of ColourPop anymore, so. I would, honestly, I would have bought these if they were available here in the States, but um, I was a little upset with their choice of lipsticks. Like, you've got all the Sailor Guardians, right? I kind of wanted to see a red lipstick, a green lipstick, a blue lipstick, then a nude and a pink. But like, why just do a pink, two browns and a red? It's Sailor Moon. You, you could do things. And also you can do like a really glossy, like sparkly lip gloss. Uh, I don't know. Okay. And also all I did was really just like put the, the sticker of this Guardians on the on the regular lipstick. I think these are all existing lipstick shades anyway. Ugh, I kind of wish they just done a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, I was also tagged in this and actually I had family members texting me about this because I love Chipotle and they know me as the makeup girl, right? So Elf X Chipotle. <laughs> Why is this actually kind of cute? Like like damn it this is actually adorable and the, the shades make sense the packaging is cute i love the whole branding like the marketing is on point i why do i want this so much i want this <laughs> i really want this it is the prices are a little bit higher higher the prices are a little bit higher because it is a collab i know just the eyeshadow palette i took a screenshot of it's going to be 16 dollars. so we'll see i don't know if this is something that's going to rex do you have feelings about the chipotle and elf collab Boof. <laughs> You've, what do you think about it? You think it's going to be good? He, he's very excited. So I don't know if this is going to sell out immediately or if it's going to be available for a while, but I, I really want to get my hands on this. Okay, so that's everything that I got tagged in. Thank you f again for tagging me on Instagram. It made it so much easier. And also I noticed that I was seeing newer things that just weren't on like makeup mainstream kind of news. So thank you for tagging me and showing me those things. I, I love it. There's another Disney collab. So I guess Ulta, the in-house Ulta collection is collabing with Disney for a WandaVision collection. And it doesn't look that great to me also i'm not that much into the mcu anymore i kind of got tired of it after like the third iron man <laughs> like i'm just uh, i'm done it's oversaturated as it is um so i didn't watch wandavision but this it just looks like meh it's very pinky oh so i can't believe it's already coming up soon in a couple of weeks yeah so we're going to have the next sephora sale um, it's going to be 20% off for Rouge, 50% off for VIB, 10% off for Insider. So that's going to start the first week of April. So I will plan, I'm going to schedule to do a live stream probably Friday, one of those Fridays in early April. I think this starts on a Friday. Yeah, so I'm going to plan to do a live stream because I love doing live streams to do my updated recommendations. I'd like to make a list of my favorite products, what I think I'm going to be picking up during the sale because there are a few things I do want to pick up during the sale. So I'm going to make sure I plan that um, and let me know if you guys are excited. And also I'll throw a playlist up in the cards. I've been doing recommendations for just about every 21 Days of Beauty from Ulta and every Sephora sale the past couple of years. So if you want to see the full playlist, all my recommendations going back to like 2018, make sure you check that out. Okay, so everything House Labs comes out with is just like a disappointment. So they're coming out with brow pencils. And A, why are they not coming out with colorful brow pencils? Like it's Lady Gaga. 
which at this point, Lady Gaga is just like copper eye nude lip, right? Um, so these are the shades here. A, why is there no black pencil? I always complain that I like dark, like cool toned, stark black brows. Why do I not have black brows? Why are there no products available for black brows? So annoying. So uh, the fact that there's no black pencil here, nah, eh. I see one that looks like a gray. That doesn't look black. Yeah, there's a brown, black, warm undertone. And then a granite, gray, neutral undertone. Yeah, see, uh, why? Why? So no. And also these are $20. $20, no, thank you. Also, are you focused on me? I feel like it keeps focusing on my bookshelf and I'm not a fan. So I don't support Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. And to be honest, I don't really even wanna like talk about or promote them. It was very upsetting to see that they're actually going to get put into Ulta, which, uh, um, so I'm just, no. It's, it's gonna just assume if it's from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics, it's just a no. It's a safe assumption. Okay, so Urban Decay is another brand that I think is just, like they could end up like Becca, I think, if they don't start doing some new things. They're coming out, they came out with new moon dust shadows and some shadow sticks, but A, they're expensive and B, they don't look like anything special. And also who is still buying individual shadows in separate packaging like that? Like it's annoying. Like I even have these ColourPop Super Shock shadows and it is kind of a pain in the butt to pull out and use in the store and to everything. So like, I don't know. This feels like this was a, a release that would have fit in better like five years ago, right? Yeah. And also $26 for a shadow stick. Come on. Okay, so Hollow Taco, my favorite nail polish brand. I'm wearing it right now, and odds are if I'm wearing I if I'm wearing nail polish, it's probably Hollow Taco. Came out with a new Unicorn Dreams collection. To be honest, I'm not really a pink or like a really light blue kind of person when it comes to nail polish like these. So I didn't pick up any of these or the new uh, unicorn skins, but I did place an order because a few of the polishes from the last few collections that I hadn't gotten, like haven't been able to get and I needed some restock because I finished the silvery, the bright silvery polish. I completely panned, so I needed to get a new one. And then I picked up, I believe the shade Mint Money, which is a nice like light green sparkle shade. And I picked up a couple others. So whenever I actually get that in, odds are I'll be painting my nails Immediately. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and check out my Instagram stories because I'll probably show them off as soon as I get them. Now, okay, so this. This, this, this. Um, I know there was talking about, I mean, there was basically rumors about whether or not this was a real palette. I want this. Oh my god. So this is Natasha Denona and I believe this is called the Circle Local palette. Ooh, look, look at these, look at these shades. I know I'm panning a Natasha palette and part of me like that's part of the reason why I want this but also it's bright the only other bright palette I believe she's come out with was the Tropic and that had horrible reviews and it wasn't even really colorful it was like one row of colors so like this is like the whole thing is colors and I want it I want it so um I don't see a release date it just says coming soon but whole whole boy do I want this so I don't know if I mentioned these last time, but they're really cute and I kind of want a couple of them. These are the mini notepad palettes from the crayon case. So they're basically like monochromatic palettes, kind of like what ColourPop was doing, except uh, less annoying because I can actually probably buy these when I want to, you know? Ooh, that was, that was salty. <laughs> So looking at these, I really want the green one because obviously the orange one actually looks really cute. And then, the neutral one is just mad. The yellow one just looks mad. Yeah, so basically like the green and the orange. I've kind of been pulled more toward like orange recently. I don't know. I really like orange. So those two are very cute. Okay, so let's talk about just quickly. Obviously, I do not support Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I just spent a whole year panning a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette and working through my feelings, my thoughts about supporting such a problematic person for so long and then coming around. So if you missed that whole journey <laughs> i'll throw that pan that palette 2020 playlist up in the cards but the ridiculousness of just putting that exact same fucking palette into white packaging and re-releasing it that who bought this because it wasn't like it was limited edition you could still buy blood sugar i think so why and then b they put they made a new mini palette which still looks like trash and then a bunch of mini liquid lipstick. It's, it's trash. Trash person. Trash company. 
I mean, the good news is that I've heard sales are not as good. It's like they're not selling out as quickly anymore and less and less people are talking about them. So fantastic. Just let them fade into obscurity, hopefully, and we never ever see them again. I just, yeah, good riddance. Oh, that's so cute. I know I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna pick this up, but it looks cute as hell. Peeps is doing a collab with Hip Dot. Which I could actually do a whole nother video now with the amount of brands doing makeup collabs. Like, it exploded. And there are clearly ones that I'm into, like Chipotle. But, like, it's literally every brand now is coming out with a makeup collab. Anyway, I don't have my thoughts together for that yet. But the Peeps one looks very cute. And honestly, so my grandmother loves Peeps, like, to death. I got her this big Peep pillow, and so she brings it out and puts it on her bed every spring. It's, it's the cutest thing ever. Um, but this is adorable. And I think it makes sense given, you know, the colors and the packaging. This is an example of really good collab packaging because it's purple. It's got the peeps on it. It looks like a peeps box because there are some collabs where it's like, why, why even pay the rights for that property if you're not even going to do like decent products or decent packaging? Like, come on, put it, just put a little bit of effort into it and it could look this cute. Ah, oh, okay. I hadn't seen this one until just now. Um, oh, I can't make fun of the name anymore because I changed the name. So KVD Vegan Beauty. So um, they changed the name. It's not KVD Vegan Beauty. It is Tattoo Inspired Vegan Beauty. I'm going to forget the name. Kendo Vegan Beauty with Kindness Vegan and also doing good Kindness Vegan Beauty. Came out with some the Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. So I'm assuming it's like a cream foundation. I mean, it's interesting. So let's see. It says full coverage from normal to dry skin, fresh matte finish infused with apple extract to help nourish skin, long wearing, non cakey, non comedogenic, 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 holy sh <laughs> I am struggling with that word. Here's the word. Thank you. Fully recyclable, compact, no mirror, no magnets, no metal. That's pretty cool. And it's $38. I kind of want to try this out. It sounds very interesting to me. And I actually like the packaging. It looks really cute. What do you think? All right. So I think that's where we're going to leave it for this week's Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thank you for following me on Instagram and tagging me. I love like personally seeing like what inspires you guys to think of me specifically. Like, oh, what are your thoughts on this? What are your thoughts here? So I absolutely love talking to you guys on Instagram and getting tagged. So make sure you follow me there and tag me in anything you want to see in the next Be Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.